All right, test, 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 test. <clears throat> Headline, which will take us into our Ask an Idiot question of the week here. So big news in <clears throat> Star Wars uh, geek and nerd culture here. They've yeah. announced three Star Wars movies recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, three separate movies. This is not a trilogy. So, And they're going to take place in different timelines of the Star Wars storyline. So do we like the... So the question of the week is... Do we like the strategy of Star Wars movies to where they're just building separate movies with talented movie makers? They're going to set them, obviously, in different parts of the storyline to either set something up, tie things together, or try to maybe fix storylines or elaborate on storylines, similar to what they're doing with the series, like you mentioned already. Do you like that approach to the movies versus... Here's yet another trilogy set in whatever timeline, and, you know, it, whatever happens, happens. And I think the, you know, so I'll just pause there. So, Nick, what do you think of the strategy? To start with you, what do you think of the strategy of the separate movies versus the the trilogy plan? I like separate movies for a couple reasons. Number one, when it comes to Star Wars, They've always been packaged as trilogies, so right. we, fo- we we rate them as that, and we focus on them as the collective package. I like that they did that for the Skywalker saga, and that's fine. But let's 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 leave Star Wars proper the way the one we've all come to know and love. Let's leave that where it was. It's great. It's fine. Right? It's got it's good. It's bad. But ultimately, it's classic. Let it be there. Mm-hmm. Leave it alone. Tell me different stories. That's fine. Some I might like, some I might not. But that way, it's not sitting there messing with the thing that we all, you know, I don't want it to to water down the thing that we all love, right? I don't, I don't, that was kind of one of my big fears when Disney took over is I'm like, it's just, they're going to just constantly hit you over the head with new stuff and they're going to go down all these different, and I let But they even announced that that we're going to do movies, we could do, keep doing movies for a hundred years. Sure. Yeah. Right. And sure. it's it's like, okay, that's that's fine, but I like tell me separate stories and make them their own thing. I'll even be honest, like with Marvel, it's too goddamn much for me, really. The storytelling and the thought that goes into tying them all together and placing this guy here and that guy there. But I don't if I want to go just watch a movie about a character that sparks my interest, I don't want to feel like I have to have done all the homework before it to get every single thing that's in it. Like just tell me a story. And let the writing carry you. Uh, but Brian, how do you feel about the like the whole thing? Do you like this approach, or do you think it's you know what? Are you, what, are you, what are your thoughts? Makes a thousand percent more sense to me as well. I mean, just you know that last trilogy. You know, we talked about it. You know, off camera, on camera, you know, whatever. It's just it just seemed like it just did not have a plan. You know, we had three movies we have to make. We made one decent one, like you said, the first one, and it seemed like the the next two just uh, we have to force this in, and the storyline went all crazy directions, and it was just too way too forced. So there's too many interesting stories to tell, like you're saying, in the Star Wars universe that you know again they don't need to tie it at all together necessarily. Like you know, like you said, the Jedi one, they could do whatever they want with it. It's totally separate. They, they don't have. I don't need to see how the, that first movie. How fucking you know the you know, the ancestor of Grand Moff Tarkin was born or something you know, something <laughs> stupid like that. We, we don't care about all that stuff, right? It just doesn't right. matter. It's just we get the gist of the of the what a Jedi is and what a Sith is, and that's it. That's fine. We get it. All right. The speak. You guys both spoke about the uh, the excessiveness of the trilogy. I think the trilogy shouldn't have. And this is, goes with the the sequels. Uh, the trilogy should be done if needed. Nick, you were saying that you liked the idea of standalone movies. I do too. I think they sh- should all be standalone movies, and the trilogies should, or even sequels, should only come if required. If sure. a, if the fans re- are asking for it, and b, if the story. Um, seems like it could be necessary. Don't make the movie as in like, oh, we're going to go we're for gonna a trilogy. We're going to tell it in three spots. Like, it's no, going to be in three segments. Do, it, and, yeah, right. do a movie where, like, yeah, 
if 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 you you know don't kill all the characters at the end and go that's the movie. Um, this isn't glory, right? The movie glory, not just the fucking random word. Um, in that movie, everybody dies at the end. Um, I got okay. I was thinking. <clears> that was um, this. All right. So <laughs> the idea mainly is that I think the tr- the sequels or trilogy should be based upon as needed, right? And I think when you guys are talking about, so uh, basically, don't what you're saying. If I hear correctly, is yeah, don't get yourself in like in a glory hole. Everybody, Gen X Brian with Millennial Nick and Zenial Dean. You know, we need more people besides Nick's mom watching us. Give us a like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>